But if you want to be successful, uh, you got to learn to to loosen up. You know, in the military sense, um, we were kind of loose in World War II because mm. we didn't have a great military tradition yet. Mm. It was sort of the first instance. I mean, World War One a little bit, but where our military might was on display, and we had some great generals yeah. in World War II who were quite fluid in their thinking. My favorite happens to be Patton, because I think he was uh, quite a brilliant, he maybe wasn't a very good person, but he was a great strategist. And then after World War II, it, the military, the Pentagon became such a bureaucracy. And it was exactly what George Marshall tried to prevent. Uh, he was more of the Defense Department, but he was trying to uh, imbue a, a very open spirit. It became such a bureaucracy, it became this complex and such rigid thinking, as opposed to maneuver warfare, which is a little bit what was happened in World War II, it became attrition warfare. Mm. Let's bomb the Vietnamese, we're gonna bomb them into oblivion, we're gonna pour the American military might in, 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 and level them. And it's very rigid kind of thinking, it's very fighting the last war type thinking, and it led to our greatest disaster, to an, an utter, utter catastrophe the worst military adventure in our history. Um, and they learned the lesson. And after, world, after the Vietnam War, there was a shakeup in the military. And there were now mavericks coming up. And there were people who said, we have to learn uh, from terrorists and insurgents and guerrilla warfare. And we have to learn counterinsurgency. There were already seeds of that in the 50s, but it really took off after Vietnam. And people like uh, John Boyd, but there were others, and Desert Storm became kind of the model. They kind of let go of that Vietnam sort of syndrome and they had tremendous success. If you want success in life, if that's your goal, if you want to win, you've got to let go of what worked the last time. Mm -hmm. So it simply comes down to, 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 to this formula. Do you really want to win? Mm -hmm. If you really want to win, if you're not bullshitting, if you're not trying to act like you want to win, but you're just all into the attention and the ego, then go ahead and use the strategy that worked a year ago and think that it will work again because your ego is tied to that. You think that that strategy that worked a year ago is because I'm brilliant. Well, <laughs> maybe a little bit, but also because the luck, because of the right moment, there were factors. It wasn't just you. You need to adapt. So your ego intervenes and you think, I've got to do what I did last time because that means I'm great. And to try something else means maybe I'm not so great. That means you're not really into winning. If you really want to win, if you really want to su be successful, you have to be in the moment. You have to look at the circumstances. No two battles are the same. Yes, there are similarities. Yes, Hannibal's defeat of the Romans at Cannae has bear some similarities to some of the uh, uh, counterattack strategies that were used in in World War II, or I don't know exactly what, the, but there, there are some parallels. But it's never the same, right? The technology is different, it's never the same. Every war is different, every battle in life is different. That doesn't mean you let go of everything you believe in. Maybe the last strategy will work, but you wanna, do, you wanna face a new situation. Let's say you start a job, all right? It's a new battle, my new job is a new battle and you're gonna refresh yourself, like you hit that refresh button on the computer. I'm starting over, I'm letting go of my preconceptions, I'm in the moment, I'm studying the people that I'm now around, and I'm at square one, or I'm back to zero, and I'm gonna reassess and, and fight from that position. When I write a book, each book, I go back to zero. I tell myself, Robert, you're actually a terrible writer. This is gonna be your worst book. This book is gonna suck. People are gonna really think that you've lost it. Your mother's gonna not return your phone calls. She's gonna be ashamed. You are not great. You, and you, but you gotta up your game, because this book is above you. I'm serious, I'm that neurotic. <laughs> but it works, you know? Obviously. <laughs> Julius Caesar had a slave whispering into his ear uh, you are mortal, Julius, you are mortal. Everywhere he went, you are not a god, you are mortal. You need that person whispering in your ear, 
making you realize that you're not so great, don't let your ego get involved, and if you want to win, you have to look at each situation as different. What are the circumstances? What is the zeitgeist? What is the element of luck and timing that worked the last time that won't work this time? It's